Prime Minister Modi has inaugurated the 14th edition of Aero India 2023 today, in which 809 Indian and foreign companies are participating, and the event will see the signing of 251 Memorandum of Understanding worth 75,000 crore rupees. Defence Ministers of 32 friendly foreign countries and 29 Air Chiefs are participating in this event, during which India will make a strong pitch for the export of indigenous military hardware, and also attract foreign investments including partnerships for co-development and co-production. Two American F-16 and two F-35A Lightning II fifth-generation fighter jets have arrived at the Alahanka Air Force Base in Bengaluru, where they will participate in static and demonstration flights at Aero India 2023. US officials have said that the F-35 fighter jets have arrived in India for the first time, and talks with India on F-35 is still at very nascent stages, as there have been no formal request by India on F-35 yet. Lockheed Martin has announced that it will launch a heavy maintenance repair center in India, which will be the first of its kind in Asia, and the third in the world after the US and Canada, which will be specifically designed for the maintenance and repair of C-130J ecosystem across the globe. Hindustan Aeronautics has unveiled its Hindustan lead-in fighter trainer at the Aero India 2023, that will come equipped with modern avionics ACER radar infrared search and track system and weapons, that can be used as a supersonic trainer, which is also fully combat capable. The HLFT-42 will have the shortest developmental schedule, and will be highly customizable for an export-oriented market. It will have a flyaway unit cost of only $20 million for the baseline configuration, which is less than half of Tejas light combat aircraft. Indian firm Bumi Entech Equipment Private Limited has developed a mobile anti-arm decoy system, and the main purpose of the equipment is to emulate various frequencies and pretend as radar system, to protect the actual radar system from enemy anti-radiation missiles and air attacks. The newly developed anti-arm decoy can emulate the radar of S-400 system, that will make it nearly impossible for enemy anti-radiation missiles to strike the actual radar of the Indian Air Force's S-400 system. The DRDO has begun work on developing a 5 kW high-energy laser with beam control system, that can be mounted on Apache and Prachand light combat helicopter, that can destroy its target before the enemy is even aware of its presence. The electro-optical and infrared sensors on attack helicopters can provide targeting information, and the high-energy laser system will strike targets at 2 km away. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has displayed its Archer Next Generation armed drone at the Aero India 2023, which has been developed in collaboration with Israel Aerospace Industries. The Archer NG bears resemblance to the Israeli Heron UAV airframe, and will have avionics and other systems of the RDO's Tapas drone. The Archer Next Generation variant will conduct its first flight in the second half of 2023, and it will be armed with 300 kg of weaponry, such as smart anti-airfield weapon and Helena anti-tank guided missiles. The DRDO has showcased its Airbus A321 base Netramark II program at the Aero India 2023, and as per latest information, the primary radar system is a 4D multi-mode active phased array radar, consisting of two radars operating in S-band and X-band respectively, that will have advanced electronic counter-countermeasure features, and will detect stealth aircraft, and also pick up large aircraft over 400 km range. Another ACE radar is mounted on the nose cone of the aircraft, that will give additional 30 degrees coverage, and addition of dual swash plate will give a 300 degree coverage. The Indian Army had awarded a $15 million contract to New Space Research and Technologies in 2021 for 100 swarm drones, 
and the company has announced that it will soon start the delivery of the swarm drones to the Indian Army. The Indian company outperformed other contenders in Army evaluation trials, and the contract was awarded through the Fast Track Procurement Initiative.